Hey second graders, welcome to day 37 of distance learning. For today you have reading and writing and math. For reading you will be reading The Three Little Pigs or your favorite fairy tale book or another book of your choice. Um, because for writing you're actually going to be continuing what you were working on yesterday. Yesterday you planned your fractured fairy tale, today you are actually writing it. So for reading, you can read The Three Little Pigs or you can read a different book of your choice. Today's reading doesn't help you prepare for writing as much as usual. So read for 20 or 30 minutes, write that fractured fairy tale, and then for math you're actually going to be looking um, at bar graphs or a pictograph and drawing conclusions. Drawing conclusions means that you are um, looking at the data, looking at the bar graph, and looking at it to learn what it means. For example, on this bar graph, it's going to ask you some questions. So here it's how many students said science was their favorite subject. You're going to need to look at this and know. And look on the side. It's counting not by ones, but by twos. So if you're looking um, here and you're thinking, well, I think physical education is the best or the um, favorite. So then you count not one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You're going to count two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, because it's counting by twos. So look at the sides and make sure you know how to count that. Okay, here it is, um, here is worth 1.5, which is pretty tricky, so if this one's feeling too hard for you, you don't have to do that one. Or you could create your own bar graph, maybe talking about the different types of shoes you have in your house. You could use this template and make your own, if you would like. And then answer these questions. Um, if you make your own, these are the questions you'll be answering. If you did the bar graph or the pictograph, they each have their own questions. So whenever you make your own, you would answer these. What type of shoe is the most popular? Which type of shoe has the least pairs? And so on. Or you could complete, complete these envision pages if you have them. And it's the same thing. You're reading these graphs, paying attention to how they count along. It looks like these are all by ones. So it's a little more self-explanatory, but be sure to answer the questions very carefully. And when you're finished with that, you can move on to Fluency Practice, Edition Clash, and then Greg Tang. So yeah, that's it for day 37. I miss you guys. I hope you have a terrific Tuesday, and I will talk to you tomorrow.